Dr. Joe DiStefano, Urgent Care 24 7, uh, here to chat with you some about diabetes. Um, we currently have a diabetes epidemic in our country. Um, diabetes has been said to be um, our number one lifestyle disease. Um, and I'm speaking here mainly of type 2 diabetes. Um, there's two broad diabetes there's type 2, uh, your body makes insulin. Uh, but doesn't utilize it well, you have insulin resistance and you actually have high level of insulin and high level of sugar. Um, with those high insulin levels also becomes high blood pressure and obesity. Type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease, usually starts in childhood, a cross reaction against certain viruses and the immune system kills the cells in the pancreas that make insulin. So it is an insulin deficiency disease absolutely pretty much a totally different disease than type 2 diabetes. Like so many things we talk about with um, urgent care 24-7 and our direct primary care plan, holistic approach. Diabetes um, starts as a lifestyle disease. Um, you first attack it with lifestyle modifications. This includes exercise. Um, 20 minutes of walking a day uh, can often make a huge difference. 20 minutes of walking a day and a 10% weight loss can often get people off of insulin who are diabetic. The other um, items you want to address with diabetics is um, supplements. B12 deficiency worsens diabetes. Our most effective medicine against diabetes is metformin. It's, it's our most effective against type 2 diabetes. Unfortunately, it has the side effect of worsening vitamin B12 levels and can cause B12 deficiency long term if you do not take a B12 supplement with your metformin. So supplementation is important. I did another talk on vitamin D. Vitamin D levels are important in diabetes because low vitamin D levels worsen insulin resistance and thus worsen diabetes. So when I get a patient with diabetes, I first talk to them about lifestyle modification, um, making better dietary choices, more protein, more fats, uh, more complex carbs, less simple sugars, less simple carbs. 20 minutes of walking a day or swimming or some type of exercise and some type of weight bearing exercise such as circuit training with weights 20 minutes a day. Um, the, all these things massively improve diabetic control. If you can't get there with um, lifestyle modification, circuit training with weights, uh, the 20 minutes of walking, the 10% weight loss, then we move into medicines. Um, one of the first medications we use is metformin. This is almost considered by some to almost be a vitamin. It improves um, insulin levels, improves oxidative stress, um, has a lot of benefits to using this medication. Uh, the main thing you have to be aware of is long term it can cause B12 efficiency and we recommend that our patients on metformin take a B12 supplement. Then there's the older stand for it by medicines that are very inexpensive and can be used. Those are the stephanoureas, such as glipizide and amaryl. Then there's some newer medicines that are where they do have a place and they can be very effective. Medicines such as Ozempic, um, Genuvia, and many others, they're also very expensive. Some of these medications with that insurance can be $600 a month. Insulin is very expensive. Um, Lantus can be 300 bucks a month. Um, Novolog can be upwards of $300 a month. So these are the, the, the challenges in the care of diabetes is what somebody who advances uh, past lifestyle modification and metformin and the sulfonylureas um, going on to the next level of medications to control the disease becomes very cost prohibitive. Um, in severe cases with a lot of comorbidities, um, such as um, sleep apnea, hypertension, and somebody who has really tried hard, done everything they can. Um, you may have to have a conversation about gastric sleeve surgery. Um, that can be curative of type 2s. Um, type 1 diabetes, um, doing all the things you do for type 2 are good as well. Diet, exercise, taking care of yourself. Um, both types of diabetics have to have regular foot exams. Um, preferably by podiatry, um, regular eye exams by ophthalmology. Both diabetes categories, um, dental care is very important. Um, 
diabetics get gum disease earlier and much more severe than non-diabetics. Bad gum disease worsens diabetes by worsening insulin resistance. Uh, probably the, the second most important person in a diabetic's control behind their doctor or healthcare provider is their dentist and their dental hygienist. So diabetes um, is again one of these conditions that need a holistic approach. Um, the provider needs to be concerned about um, the, the entire patient and the patient's whole metabolism. Um, other diagnoses could be in play here. You have to worry about whether or not the patient is hypertensive. Does the patient have a thyroid disorder? Um, the type 1 diabetic, since the type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease, they can get a bunch of other autoimmune diseases with it. They can get pernicious anemia where they can't absorb B12 without shots. They can get adrenal insufficiency where they can't make adrenaline. They can get Hashimoto's thyroiditis where they don't make enough thyroid hormone. For these reasons, um, a good relationship with the primary care provider is important and frequent monitoring. And that is what we have set up with our direct primary care model and um, our primary health care plan. Thank you for this time to chat with me about diabetes, um, a broad and interesting subject. Um, this is Joe DiStefano, Urgent Care 24-7, life is 24-7 and so are we.